So what we have here is we've actually got the Charizard, the Gyarados, and the Raichu today. Normally I say, you know, I don't bother buying the Charizard because it's more expensive, but they were doing like deals on Black Friday of like all three. So I managed to pick up a couple of those that they were cheaper with like one of each. Uh, and they worked out at £30 each. So I normally put, spend £32 each for the Raichus. And the fact that I got £30 each of these and the Charizard is more expensive anyway. So like I think that Charizard is like £10 on its own. So technically I spent like £80 if I was going to sell that Charizard. So that's pretty good. This is a good deal on the Hidden Fates, at least. So what I'm going to do is what I always do. I'm going to open them all up individually, stack the 16 packs. So I'm just going to open them up one by one, take the packs out, throw the tins to the side, and then we'll get into this opening. All right, so we got our Charizard that's probably worth like £10. And then the Gyarados and the Raichus are only worth like £2 for the Raichus, I think, and maybe £3 for the Gyarados. So, I mean, you do get a little tiny bit of value back. So, I mean, the Charizard does look cool, though. Look at that card, like the fire artwork and... I do rate that Charizard, so it is understandable that it's worth a bit of money, and it's why the tins for the Charizards are more expensive. But even the Gyarados and stuff look cool. There's the Gyarados, and then there's the Raichu. Like, the artwork on those is still cool, but they're just not as sought after as a Charizard, right? All right, we know all of these Pokemon. We're going to get right into it. Water Energy. Hey, not bad. Water on the first one. Easy clap. Now we're just going to go straight for them. Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, and Lieutenant Surge's Strategy. Pretty much the arm commons we get in every single pack for Hidden Fates, dude, I swear. Then we got the lovely Pikachu art, the Magic art, which is also pretty pog, the Coffin, the Clefairy, Star You into our Reverse Hollow or Shiny, a Reverse Hollow Misty's Determination. Not a bad one to get in Reverse Hollow. It is a rare. No, it's an uncommon. Sorry, uncommon Reverse Hollow. Not bad for our first. Do we have anything on the back? Does not look like it. First card back. Nothing too great. We got a Snorlax and a Reverse Hollow Misty's Determination. On to the next. The lovely looking Cypher. Look at that card, dude. Such a sick looking card. It's absolutely insane. Then we have a Metapod. Just chilling. A Fire Chicken. We got our Magma. Hello. Charmander as well. Very cool. Clefairy. Psyduck. Magikarp again. Into another Star You. Into our Reverse Hollow or our Shiny. It is a Reverse Hollow Jinx. Reverse Hollow Uncommon again. Not too bad. And the Rare on the back. Just another default rare, I think. Or oh, Misty's Water Command in Hollow. I didn't have that. I have a reverse Hollow Misty's Water Command, but I don't have it in Hollow. So I will take that one. That's actually something I needed for my binder. So thank you. Let's leave that bad boy up. That's definitely going in the binder. Dark Energy into another lovely Cypher. Charmeleon looking cool as well. Metapod. Then into our Star You. We've had a Star You in every pack so far. Let's see if we can continue that. Voltorb, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Ekans into our. Shiny? Pog! Look at that shiny Charmander, dude. That is sick. That is such a nice shiny to get. And I'm pretty sure he is the most expensive non-full art shiny. He is so sick, dude. Look at that card. Absolutely awesome. Now we need to get the shiny Charizard later to go with him, right? That's how it works. On the back. Oh, we got a big card. You ready, chat? What a pack. I don't have a Starmie either. Starmie GX and a shiny Charmander. Both at new additions. Oh, look at that. That is sick. I'm a happy boy, dude. That is an amazing pack. I don't think the Starmie's worth much because uh, most of the GXs aren't worth anything. But it's a card that I physically didn't have because I pulled so many Jigglypuff. There are two cards so far. Our boys... Starmie artwork is actually really sick. See if we can get a full art shiny out of these 16 as well. That'd be lovely. So we got Giovanni's Exile. A Brock's Pewter City Gym. A Koga's Trap. Can we get a Staryu in this to make it 4 for 4? There's an Eevee. There's a Pikachu. That's our third Pikachu. Clefairy. Jigglypuff. And no Starmie. We got a Caterpie. Now let's get another shiny. No way, dude. What? I pulled a shiny Charmander into a shiny Charmeleon back to back. Holy, dude. That is sick. It's fate, dude. If we pull a Charizard, this would be the best opening ever. Holy. What's on the back? Ah, just a normal Erica's hospitality. So nothing good on the back. But look at that. I think the center is better on the Charmeleon than the Charmander. The Charmander is a bit to the, like, short on the right. Whereas, tiny short on the left. But that definitely looks a lot better. 
This has been insane already. Look at that. We got our boys. We're just going to put them together there. Right. Uh, we have uh, Ekans. We have Paris. Charmander. Slowpoke. Psyduck. Let's get another shiny. I have not got a reverse holo Magikarp, I don't think. So I will take that one. That's actually Pog. And on the back, is it a GX or is it just a normal? Ah, it's just a Clefable. But that reverse holo Magikarp's pretty cool. And I think I need that for my collection. So I'll take it. Put that in a sleeve. Dude, the Charmander and the Charmeleon is sick. Star you and a Jigglypuff into our... Reverse holo Sabrina Suggestion. Not a bad one. It is an uncommon. It's not a shiny, though. And then on the back, we have... Butterfree. Charmander with the lovely artwork, but it's not as good as our shiny. Then we have a Clefairy, Psyduck, Magikarp. Reverse Holo Clefable. It's a rare. That's definitely one I didn't have in Reverse Holo, but sadly not a shiny. But that's still a Pog card. One for the binder with a... I thought it was going to be a Clefable behind it as well, but it is a Mr. Mime. And then... Come on. All right, we just got a Clefable Reverse Holo. Now we got a Clefairy Reverse Holo. And on the back, we have nothing again. Oh, it is a Shiny Eevee, though. All right, not bad. I do like that card. It is a very, very nice looking card. We have it, obviously, but it is sick. Paris, Charmander, Clefairy, Slowpoke. Come on, boy. This is it. We're going to go from the bottom. Reverse Holo Fire Chicken. I'll take the Magma actually looks sick. I love the fire. Then all the mini fires. Uh, it just looks cool. On the back, anything good? Nah, just a regular, I think. Yeah, it's a regular Lapras. Metapod, Sabrina's suggestion. Come on, Charizard, dude. Eevee, Pikachu, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie. Here it is. It's not a Charizard. It is a Erica's Hospitality Reverse Holo. It is a rare. I think I might have a Reverse Holo of Erica's Hospitality. We'll have to find out another time. I'll check later. And then on the back, just a Golem. So nothing crazy in our last, like, what's it been? Like five packs? It's been a while, honestly. We got the fire at the start, and then it just kind of died off a little bit. But we have a Charizard pack for more fire now. All right. Magma, our fire chicken. Brock's Grip. Chansey. Ekans, Mr. Snakey backwards, Eevee, Pikachu, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, one more. It wasn't, okay. Reverse Hollow Chansey, whoops, I miscounted, but I do not have a Reverse Hollow Chansey. Very cool, Reverse Hollow Uncommon. Come on, have something cool at the back. We've been dry for a little bit, and we're going to continue to be dry. Oh, it's a Vaporeon Hollow, though. Very cool looking card either way, and I will take that. In these five packs, two guaranteed shinies, right? We have this in the bag at this point. We are going to get some good pulls. I feel that Charizard coming. I feel it. So we have got a side duck into a Charmander into our Charizard. Oh, it's a Buzzwall Ultra Beast at the top right there. So we got a shiny Buzzwall, which unfortunately isn't that great of a shiny, I don't think. But I didn't have it for the collection. So it's another new one, which I will take, which is actually pretty cool. And on the back, do we have anything on this one as well? We have a Jesse and James Hollow. So that pack overall is pretty good. And we're guaranteed one more shiny. So hopefully we can get another one that we do not have. Buzzword's pretty cool. I will take that. Give me full art shiny. Pokemon Center Lady into Sabrina's Suggestion, into Missy's Determination. Why is she bending over? Staryu, Ekans, Eevee, Pikachu, Clefairy... Come on. Is the Sabrina suggestion is only a trainer card. So this is not our shiny pack. But on the back. Oh, here we go. Please be a GX or something that I don't have. Let's go. Oh, it is. I may have scuffed the opening a little tiny bit. But that Onyx is sick and I don't have it. Never pulled an Onyx GX before. Another one I needed alongside the Starmie. And that artwork is sick. Definitely does not disappoint. There is our fifth pull. Of our 13 packs so far. Pretty pog. Geodude. Jigglypuff. Staryu. Ekans. Let's go. Give me big boy. Give me big boy. Look at the bottom. It's not a big boy. But it still could be a shiny. It is a reverse holo Jolteon though. I don't have a reverse holo Jolteon. I will 100% take that bad boy. Nice. 
Reverse Hollow Rare any day. On the back, what do we have? Another one? Is that Charizard? It looks like flames. Oh, I mean, what is that? Please be so nice. Oh, okay. It is the Rainbow Rare Trio Birds. We got that last opening, but that is a £15 card. And that is an expensive boy. So I will take another one of those. I don't know whether there's other Rainbow Rares in this set, but this seems to be the Rainbow Rare that we like to pull. Look at this fire opening so far. Six pulls in 14 packs. Hidden Fates, nearly a one in two. That is insane. Brock script. Cypher. Look at that artwork, man. Jinx. Coffin. Cubone. Geodude. Jigglypuff. Star you. Let's go. Alright, it isn't a special boy, but it is. Yes! Dude, I think this. I think this pack. This tin had two shinies. I'm like 90% sure. And I think we're guaranteed a shiny at the end. So I think we got five shinies in this opening as well. And I got the Gabite last time. And now I've got the Gibble to go with the Gabite. That is sick. I was like, I, I remember saying last opening of Hidden Fates. I was like, I, if there's a Gibble, I want that. Oh, look at him. And on the back, we have a Clefable. Dude, that Gibble is awesome. Come on, man. Last pack. Last pack magic. Let's get it. We have our Psychic. Into our Cypher. Brock Grit. Graveler. All of these are commons. We got the Geodude, the Cubone, the Eevee, the Clefairy, and the Psyduck. Come on, man. Let's get it. It's not a full art. Let's see if it's a shiny. Oh, I miscalculated. We only got four shinies. All right. It's another Clefairy. Shame on me for miscalculating. But I mean, we still had some sick shinies either way. And we potentially could have some fire at the back. It's not. It is a Mr. Mime. Okay. So we got Kaferi and Mr. Mime. But look at those seven pulls. So we've got seven pulls in 18 packs. Which works out to be about a 1 in 2.5 packs pull rate. And we only got one duplicate. Only one of these was a duplicate, and it was the Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Rainbow Rare, which is still worth like £15 on its own, right? So that's still a really, really good card to pull as a dupe. If you're going to pull a dupe, best to pull a dupe like that. Then we've got the Charmander, we've got the Charmeleon, we've got the Gibble, the Boswell, the Onyx, and the Starmie. Dude, this, is, this has been so good for my collection. I don't know whether we've quite made our money back, because it would have cost us £120 for all of these tins. So I don't think these cards equate to that. But just from a collector's standpoint, this one has been really, really good for me. It's like I, I'd love to pull the Sizzle, but the Sizzle's not really worth much, but it's a Pog card and I'd love it, right, for my collection because it's like one of my favorite Pokemon. I open these mostly to have the fun of opening them and collecting. If I don't make all my money back, I'm not going to be sad about it, you know? It is what it is. It's just fun to t calculate how much you make as you go along because then... Potentially, you can see if you profit or, or not. If we get a Charizard, that Charizard alone pays for what? Like a goddamn, like, 30-odd <laughs> tins, which is insane. And that's, like, raw. It'll pay for, like, 30 tins raw. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's going to be a big boy. And we definitely haven't opened up 30 tins yet. So, we still got time. we still got time. So, have a lovely night. Love you all. And as always, until next time, see ya. I wanna have good